Macon Bibb commissioners are still trying to give county employees raises. 41 NBC's Tanya Motorzitski has more on what commissioners are voting on at tonight's meeting, and that may include annual raises. Tanya. Macon Bibb commissioners are back at the government center voting on a way to give county employees the raises that they've been talking about for so long. Commissioners say everyone in dis uh, is in desperate need of them and is long overdue. And we still have that study. We just need to take it out and dust it off and people. Macon Bibb commissioners are continuing the fight to give county employee raises. In August, commissioners voted down paying $160,000 on a new pay scale study. The study grades job descriptions to match employees with proper salaries. Yeah, originally, it was intended for increases to happen. Um, on an annual basis. Commissioners say there's already a pay scale study from consolidation the county has yet to implement. No, it's not out of date. We still have the positions there that was that were there at the time of the consolidation. We might have a few positions added here and there or something like that. But if, if it was a pay scale study based on how we were consolidating four or five years ago, that's still a good study. Commissioner Virgil Watkins is sponsoring an ordinance that will be voted on during commission. The ordinance will allow commissioners to implement the current pay scale study. I'm proposing that we amend our current pay scale um, and make it so that steps are 2%, so they would get a 2% um, annual pay raise every year, um, and that pay raise would be automatic. Mayor Robert Rickard says he thinks implementing the current pay scale doesn't do any justice to people's job descriptions that have changed since consolidation. Shelby. Thank you, Tanya. Commissioners are voting on the ordinance tonight at the Government Center. The commission meeting just started.